Thank you. Merry Christmas, everybody. Isn't it the best time of the year, hey? I wonder what the royals buy each other for Christmas, hey? That'll be interesting. Prince Harry asked for a chemistry set and his dad bought him ICI. <laughs> Little Prince William asked for a cowboy outfit and they bought him Sky Television. <laughs> but I feel sorry for the royals, actually, because every year they get a Christmas tree from Norway. <laughs> what service sends the royals this year? Service sends them a Christmas tree. <laughs> Oh, I don't think so. Didn't we send someone last year? No. Shall we wrap it? <laughs> but they don't want this Christmas tree. They can't get it in the palace. So what do they do in the middle of the night? They nip out and dump it in Trafalgar Square. <laughs> That's a pretty picture, isn't it? With silver spades and rubbish and everything. OK, quick this way, quick, quick. Edward, Edward, you're the theatrical. Get the lights working. Come on, come on, come on. Anne, Anne, keep a lookout, Anne, keep a lookout. Anybody coming? Yes, a policeman. <laughs> Nassos! <laughs> Nassos. Nassos. <laughs> but Christmas is the time of year we all love and we all enjoy. And yet we still remain without one problem. We always forget those three simple words. Batteries not included. <laughs> enjoy the show. Desperate man! In the past two weeks, 11 leading ladies have left because of the sinister and terrifying phantom who keeps appearing here in my beautiful Paris Opera House. 72 Champs Elysees, credit card number 69. De, de, de. <laughs> Do not interrupt me! Do you not realize that if Madame Brunhild von Schwarzenegger hears about the phantom, she too may leave? Oh. No photograph! <laughs> I must apologize. Leave oh. my dressing room. I, I, I must myself get ready. I'm glad she's gone. I can't stand crowds. Who are you, Phantom? Well, I... you haven't said much, have you? Shh. <laughs> Go and find the police. My mark, wait, wait, wait. Did anybody hear a canary? <laughs> do you know, we had a canary once, and he got yellow jaundice, and we never do. <laughs> it was yellow, see? Ah, oui, 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 oui. <laughs> Now, we've never met before, have we? No. Then how do you know it's me? <laughs> Your assistant, please, sir. Would you now draw the curtains? Ah, uh, oui. No, you. Uh, ah. <laughs> now, the curtains are completely drawn, but the rest of the cabinet is real. <laughs> I would ask in a magic words, abracadabra, I've got to go, but I shall be back, because this is my show. <laughs> Curse that phantom! Once again I am without a leading lady, and tonight is the opening night of our new opera. Who can I get? Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> oh, mon dieu, that voice! Who are you? I am Shishi, the young, innocent, impoverished wardrobe assistant. Oh, do you want to be a singer? Oh, yes. Oh, well, tonight is the opening night of our opera. Here it is, you have 15 minutes to learn it. I've got a splint headache. <laughs> Who are you? I am the frightening phantom. <laughs> now step into the cabinet. Why? Because I'm going to show you a little trick. <laughs> <laughs> now I shall whisper the magic words. Abracadabra and a drop of a hat. We're off to the sewers. Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we? We're in the sewers of Paris. 
beneath the Grand Opera House. Do you know, I love the opera, me, honestly. I'm a big fan, yeah. They call me Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> <laughs> now, see, if I was called Cyril, I'd be fan Cyril of the Opera, and that would be funny. Uh, but I love the opera, do you know? Do you know, I wrote an opera once, and I brought it here to the Grand Opera House, and I gave it to the manager. I said, what do you think? Right, and he went, sacre bleu. C'est magnifique, film a formidable. And you know why he said that? Why? Because he couldn't speak English. <laughs> But well, I said, are you going to perform my opera? And he said, no. And well, I said, right. I became bitter. Bitter. <laughs> and aloof. <laughs> bitter and aloof was fine. I said, I swore to get my revenge because he wouldn't perform my opera. I said, right. I will have my revenge. Revenge, revenge. Have I said revenge? Yes. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> What's the musical about? Pardon? What is the musical about? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> this is my opera. <coughs> uh, what a dreadful cough. I know, I used to have a nice cough. <laughs> I used to go like that. <laughs> but back to the opera. It all begins with the band playing the overture to Carmen. Then the curtain goes up and comes down again, because we're not doing Carmen. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I've still got this headache, you know. <laughs> but the curtain goes up and a hero comes on, like that. And this is the hero, see? Right there. <laughs> He's only 15. <laughs> and he comes on and he says, Dad, Mom, I'm leaving home now, because I'm going to seek my fortune. And his dad said, well, good luck, son. <laughs> and his mum said, oh, we're going to miss you, son. <laughs> and the neighbours came out and they went, is he going? Good riddance. <laughs> dad said, don't you talk about my son like that. He's been all right, he has. <laughs> and mum said, yes, you must talk about him like that. <laughs> so the boy said, goodbye, mum, goodbye, dad. And he went off to London to seek his fortune. And he met his producer and he said to the producer, do you think I'm any good? And the producer said, I don't know, I haven't seen you. <laughs> and the boy said, My dad's got a hat like that. <laughs> Who are back in the opera? This beautiful soprano. <laughs> Fell in love with the boy, he said, I love you. <laughs> and the postman, who was back at home, <laughs> He said, I've got a letter here from your son. Dad said, what's it say? <laughs> Mum said, just go and open it quick. <laughs> and the neighbour said, have you heard anything from your lad yet? <laughs> he said, he's coming over, he's a failure. <laughs> Dad said, no, he's not, he's a big success. <laughs> and his mum said... <laughs> his mum said... Uh... <laughs> his mum said... Oh! Because she was practising. <laughs> His mum said... <laughs> she said, my boy will be a success, you watch. And he was a success, a great success. <laughs> and the postman said, well, that's not... <laughs> He'd just come from a wedding. <laughs> the postman said, you're right, I read it wrong. <laughs> he said, I can read reading, but I can't read writing. <laughs> Anyway, the boy was on his way home. <laughs> and he said, Mum, I need a haircut. <laughs> his mum said, you're right, son. <laughs> and his dad said, welcome home, son. <laughs> Postman said, it's good to see you. And the neighbour said, is he back? <laughs> and he said, I brought someone with me. She went, hello. <laughs> and they all went in the garden. And they all sang together, I just called to say, I love you. And it was a big happy ending. What do you think? Oh, I think it is wonderful. I overheard everything. I want to produce it tonight. You have ten minutes to learn it. <laughs> do you know, Andrew Lloyd Webber 
has got five pounds for every person in Britain. Have you got yours yet? So, tell me what you can see that teacup of yours in. We see death. Death falling from the sky. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> That'd be ridiculous. You can't see anything in a teacup. I'm going. What oh, a complete waste of money that was, eh? <laughs> Things falling from the sky. Ha, ha, ha. Hello. Millions of people are hoping for a white Christmas this year. But in a growing number of environmentally friendly homes, such as this one, they're not hoping for a white Christmas, but a green Christmas. Brian, hello. You must be very excited. No, no, it's just the way I'm standing. <laughs> no, I mean, you must be excited about your first green Christmas. Oh, yes, indeed, I am. Cheers. Ah, green wine. Is it free from additives? No, no, it's free with every five gallons of four-star down the local garage. <laughs> Is it full of body? Uh, no, uh, pig manure. <laughs> Could explain to the viewers exactly what you're doing. <laughs> well, yes, it's uh, it's always I'm um, stuffing the turkey. <laughs> you seem to be having a little trouble. <laughs> well, I'm just trying to find the best way in. <laughs> but, excuse me, Brian. Aren't you supposed to kill it first? <laughs> no, we couldn't possibly do that. <laughs> Why not? Well, we couldn't kill a live animal to eat. Oh, so you're not going to eat it? Oh no, no, of course not. No. Then why stuff it? Well, it's traditional, isn't it? I mean, you've got to keep up with traditions. Plus the fact the telly's on the blink and it'll give me something to do in the afternoon, won't it? <laughs> so you do actually keep up with the Christmas tradition? Oh, yes, most definitely. You see, a lot of people think traditions are a thing of the past, you see, but uh, not me, no. There you go. Ah, I Stretch see. your legs for a bit. There you go. <laughs> and now, what about the traditional Christmas pudding? Oh, yes, I've got one here in the oven, actually. Here, coming up right now. Oh, I see it's green, yes. <laughs> Is that the goodness in it? No, no, it's the green emulsion I used. Yes. <laughs> well, that's where we must leave Brian and his green Christmas. Oh, aren't you going to stay for a glass of Friends of the Earth, Sherry? Is it green? No, but you will be after you drink it. You're not. Yes, I know I am. <laughs> Story about me to mooch you. She was a low down hoochie coochie. She was the roughest, toughest friend. But Minnie had a heart as big as a wave. Heidi, 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 Heidi. King of Sweden, <laughs> he gave her things she was needed. He gave her a home built of gold and steel, a diamond car with deep platinum wheels. Heidi, 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 Heidi. He gave her his townhouse and his racing horses. Each meal she ate was a dozen courses. Had a million dollars full of nickels and dimes. She sat around and counted them a million times. Heidi, Heidi.
I'll tell you what, they serve me a very friendly lot in here, aren't they? Uh, I've not been in here before. Oh, you're not? No, no, no. Thanks very much. They're a good crowd. Oh, look, I, I know what you're like, but uh, Happy New Year. Oh, Happy New Year. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, cheers. Cheers, aye. <laughs> <laughs> My word! Ah, cheers. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, that's better. I, I, I should think it was. Yes, I. Oh, no, no. Fancy another one? Uh, yes, sir. I think I could just manage one, I. Very kind. Thanks a lot. Oh, oh right. We're right. a good crowd in here, you know. We. Uh, we get on, you know, we give and take. Right. Great. Thank you. Oh, last one, never mind. <laughs> Another year over, eh? My God, they come round quick, don't they? I'll tell you what, they do come round quick, aren't they? Look, hey. My word. Uh, Hang on a minute. What? Isn't that a bit cloudy? I, I don't know. Let's have a look. <laughs> well? No, no, it's fine. Oh, no, no. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! What? That's my drink, you mind? <laughs> Oh, it's always the first one that tastes best, isn't it, eh? Is it? Uh, yes, well, um, I wouldn't know, you know. <laughs> hey, what? There's <laughs> writing on the bottom of this glass. It says, you're round. <laughs> uh, 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 right. They're very good in here, usually, but check your next pint. Well, chance would be a fine thing, wouldn't it? <laughs> There you go, lad. Seven pound fifty-eight. Hey. Right. Put it on his slate. All oh, right. We're all friends in here. Oh, and have one yourself. Oh, thank you very much. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> aye. No, just a minute. Yes, aye. Well, hey, uh, hang on a minute. Is that warm? No, it's not warm. Is it cold? No, it's not cold. <laughs> Is it cloudy again? No, it's not cloudy, and it's not yours. <laughs> Hey, where have you been? Oh, has been back half an hour. <laughs> Beryl, Harry, Harry and Beryl. Uh, hello, hello, Harry. Beryl. Yes, hi. Right. At the coffee hospital. Oh, just a minute. I've got some change here. Cheers, Beryl, Harry. Cheers. <laughs> ah, cheers. Well, cheers. Hi. This way, man. What is it? Don't worry. I'll look after them. Come on, I'll fill them up for you. Uh, hey, we'll have to slow down, Harry. I'm getting a bit, um, piece more cake because... <laughs> Hey, hey, you take it easy, you're driving. Back to Leslie's next, my car. Uh, right. No, no, just a moment. Hey, no, just don't, you wait there. Look, hey, see, now look, I'm putting that drink on that table and that drink is mine. All right, all right, this is mine. Yes, it is yours. That's mine on the table, right? <laughs> my shout, Harry. What? My shout? Who'll get my flaming drink? Here, yeah, very, uh, look. You can't half hold your drink, you. You've had five pints, you're still there. Look, 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 stuck the same as when you came in. Very true, very true. Oh, hey. What's that? It's midnight. Come on, Ooh, everybody, all hands. Right, let me get up. Ah, caught you there, ah. mate. You stopped you there, didn't I? Sure. I have You know, usual.
So you don't find me attractive? Yes, of course I find you attractive. <laughs> you find me attractive, but you don't fancy me. You're as nutty as a seed cake. Fruit cake. Fairy cake. A button break. Marzy bun. Jam talk. Those little cakes with the squeezes round with a cherry in them, like with the icing. <laughs> stop, stop, look. This is my movie. I am the producer, after all. Ah! Yes. Oh! <laughs> you know nothing about movies! So sure I do! Oh, yeah? Remember, Come with the Wind? You said it would make a great picture? Huh? This is going to be the greatest musical since 32nd Street. No, you mean 42nd Street. I missed the beginning. Cameras, <laughs> lights! Mr. Von Schnitzel. Count! Oh. Count! One, two, three. Count! <laughs> One, two, three. My father was a baron. Oh, I wish he had been baron. What is the musical about? About 30 minutes up to now. Oh. Yes. This will make Busby Barkley look at Burke. Are you sure? Sure! Sure! If this is not the greatest musical in the history of movies, then I am a Dutchman. Mm. Cameras, lights, action. <laughs> Tea for two and two for tea. You're the cream in my coffee. You are my lucky star. But there is three. What is there to say? What is there to do? Day and night, night and day I get a kick out of you Up my shirt, 
putting in my shirt studs Polishing my nails I'm stepping out my kids You breathe an atmosphere That simply reeks with class And I trusted you to choose my dust When I step on the gas Christmas, it'll soon be New Year, and I'm looking forward to that. Well, my friend is, anyway. See you, Jimmy. Uh, see you, John. See you, Derek. I'm going to be here with all the champagne. I love it. 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 See, I was on the station the other day, and my pal, he was crying. He's crying. He was on the platform of the station. He was greeting. He was really sad. He was greeting. Greeting. I said, you poor. You think, why are you crying? Why are you sad? He said, I've lost my luggage. I said, oh, no. He said, I. He said, the cork came out of the bottle. <laughs> hey, what about this? Don't forget the pantomime season has started. Actually, my local theatre are doing an all-naked production of A Christmas Carol. Yes. <laughs> it shouldn't be too difficult to spot Tiny Tim. <laughs> Funny enough, I came within an inch of getting the part myself. Yes. <laughs> but did you know? Have you noticed pantomimes today have to be more socially aware, like Jack and his organically grown beanstalk? <laughs> Snow White and the Seven Little People who mustn't be discriminated against because of their style. <laughs> and babes in the fast lane of the M25 where the woods used to be. <laughs> well, that's the end of the show. Oh, yes it is. 
Don't you start. <laughs> Abbott is currently appearing in Jack and the Beanstalk at the Mayfair Theatre, Southampton.